welcome back to Cooking with Sarah. Oh, yes, it, it's me. Sorry, let me just, um, yeah, let, let me just take this thing off. It's kind of silly. Okay, so here we are. The, we are in FTB Horizons today. We're doing something a little bit different. We are in the tropics, in survival, and I am going to show you a few little things about the tropics. I said I was going to do this back in uh, Attack of the Bee Team, that episode there. So, one thing you'll notice about the tropics, there is food everywhere. These are grapefruit trees. You break the leaves that have the dots on them, and you get grapefruits in there. And then, you know, they're, they're pretty tasty. You'll get saplings. Bone meal on the ground will give you, of course, you know, the Pam's Harvest Craft saplings and the other stuff, too. So I'm just going to pick me some more grapefruits here. We're going to have a little tropical feast. There's lots of grapefruits around here. Here's an orange tree over here. And I'll just poke a couple of those loose. Let's see. I saw an Easter Island head around here somewhere. Let's see if he's still there. You need Easter Island head blocks to make a drink mixer. Um, here's the thing. Easter Island heads will mess you up. If you try to attack one with a sword, you're going to have a bad time. Yes, I said attack one. They're alive. They're not just little monument thingies. Oh, no, no, no. They're living, breathing, stuff-wrecking things. And they will hurt you very badly. So you have to attack them with a pickaxe, turns out. Since they are made of rocks, that kind of makes sense. I think I saw some back over this way. If you don't attack them, they will leave you alone. If you do attack them, be ready for a fight. Let's see, what is this? Witchwood. Okay. I swear I saw one over here. They must have moved when I wasn't looking. You know, kind of like uh, Weeping Angels, I guess. Okay. Uh, well, we'll just go this way anyway. So here is a volcano. I haven't been up there yet. One other thing that you want to watch out for is iguanas. You know, iguanas. You think they're so cute. Little lizards. No, no. No, they will attack you in huge packs. And they will just keep coming and keep coming and keep coming. The good news is you can make armor out of their scales. So if you manage to survive, uh, <laughs> at least you'll have some protection next time. Oh, yep, there they are. Hi, guys. Hi. And they don't, I think they're a lot like pigmen. They'll generally leave you alone unless you attack something. And then here they all come. So let me just, uh, I need a, I need a helmet. So y'all give me some skills. Hey, come back, come back. Well, now they're afraid of me. Maybe it's because I'm wearing their, maybe it's because I'm wearing their scales. Okay, there is a big, cool island over here that I haven't been to yet. Well. I swear, I thought I saw a head. <laughs> but that's okay. Ah, oh, yes, then there's this thing. There was this little village here. Or, I wouldn't even call it a village. It's a little fishing hut. And it had an empty chest in it. But not much else. Oh, wait a minute. There's, there's somebody down there. Hello? Hello? Are you okay? Oh. Oh, people. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Oh, he's got a fishing net. Cool. Or a fishing something or other. Hi, how you doing, bud? Uh-oh. They've got the, uh, they've got the hostel. He's fishing. Okay. Hi. Hey, guys. You got anything for me? Okay. Oh, 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 he put something in there. Let's see. Oh, fish! Oh, they're fishermen. Okay. You know what, guys? I'm going to leave you all alone. You're busy. There are some other kinds of fish here as well. And if I can find some, let me get out to the ocean here. I just go for a little swim. 
Let's see what we can see here. Let's see if we can catch us some mar Oh. Oh. Surf noises. That's nice. Let's see if we can catch us a marlin. Or some other such big fish. That would be nice. Oh, oh, I see an Easter Island head. There he is. No, that's not him. That's a volcanic rock of some kind. Ch chunk ahead. Oh! Oh, well, there we go. Let me just get some of those. Unless... This whole thing is ahead. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm going to get a bunch of this. This must be where Easter Island heads go to die. I'm going to climb up there. Just for just for giggles. Just to see. So yeah, I'm doing this episode a little differently. Normally we do the whole cooking thing. So do a little bit of an adventure to it. I don't even really know what's going to happen. Because I've never been to this particular part of the tropics. Oh, I hear lava. I hear lava and lots of it. Is that a head? No, that's a tree. Okay, but I'm going to climb up here to the top of this volcano. Looks like fun. It's a smart thing to do, right? Got a huge mass of boiling lava and sheer cliff face. Let's climb up it. Why not? Oh, here we go. There's the uh, there's the top. <gasps> Whew, that's that's a little scary. Okay, well, hopefully it doesn't decide to erupt on me. Okay, that was fun. Now we're going to head back down. Very very carefully. Get that chunk ahead. There we go. Okay, we're good. I wonder where all the fish went. I guess the fish are all out in the open ocean there. That's the uh, the fishermen are still fishing, I see. Some little monkeys. They don't seem to be hostile. Hi. Hi, monkey. And it occurs to me I did not waypoint my new cave. I think it's over here somewhere, though. <laughs> Famous last words. I'll come through the river... So, when we get back, let me get some sugar cane. I will put this drink mixer together and we can make some tropical drinks. And see how that goes. And then maybe I can go back out to closer to where the portal is. I saw lots of fancy fish over there. Oh, here we go. I'm going to just uh, get my fancy tropical sword here. Just in case somebody decides to come light me up. Okay. Into my uh, fancy little noob cave here. Ooh, excuse me. So how do, I, how do we make a drink mixer? make a drink mixer with a box. A box of head chunks. And there we are. Easy enough. And we will just put him on the wall here. There we go. Uh, do I have mugs? I don't have any mugs. And how do we mug again? I think it's... Um, no, that sticks. Okay, how do we, how do we mug? Well, when all else fails, read the instructions. Ah, upside down pants. Where's my bamboo? There it is. <laughs> okay. Couple of mugs. Okay, let's see. What can we do with grapefruits? What can we do with mugs? Let's just see here. Um, doop -doo -doo. Let's ask NEI. 
Oh, lovely. Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna need some tropics water. Caparinas. Ah, orange We can do that. I don't have any coffee on me. But I can go get a bucket of tropics water real quick. And it is raining. There's my bucket. There it is. I've got oranges. I've got sugar cane. So we can do this. Ooh. That's creepy. So you are not going to want for food in the tropics at all. There is food everywhere. Of course, the rest of the stuff might try to kill you. All the tropical skeletons with blowguns and little ashen hunters and iguanas. And I saw a creeper in a Hawaiian shirt and a top hat. Oops, no, give me that water back. Okay. Um, make some sugar. Okay. Oops. Here we go. All right. Let's throw an orange on there. Let's throw some sugar on there. Uh, and I think we can just... Uh, there we go. Don't even need the bucket of tropics water, do we? And I have orange aid. Oops, no, can I can I have that? Can I drink it? Mm. Oh, and that gives you speed. That's nice. So yeah, the different cocktails will give you different uh, effects. Of course, the pina colada at the right time of day will send you home, which I don't really want right now. So let's um. Let's screw, let's cruise over to closer to the portal where I saw all kinds of cool fish and I will whoa hello that hit really close hello I don't want to be the tallest thing out here <laughs> I'm gonna put this uh no I don't want to put it on I want to put it on the wall there we go Okay, I'm going to head over back towards the portal, and we're going to go fishing. I will see you in just a bit. Okay, here we are. And, of course, it's still pouring down rain. Look at this guy. Look at this. Is this not awesome? Oh, oh, and he's hitting it. He's hitting it. Uh, well, maybe he's not. That's okay, though. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it. Now there is actually a special fishing rod. Um, I think in Attack of the B Team there's actually a recipe for it. In Horizons there does not seem to be. And I did not get any stingray meat, but that's all right. So, yeah, I actually um oh there there it is right there the old rod. That's what I want. Oh, here. Give me that back. How do I old rod? You don't. How do I good rod? Super rod. That, that's Pokemon fishing rods. Okay, well. And then there's nothing there. I guess we have to beat up a fisherman to take that from him. I'm not going to do that. That's That would be mean. So I'm just going to uh, borrow one here. I'm going to rent one from the, the uh, tourist shack here. Let's see. Let's find something to something to catch. I don't think anything is going to go for that. And you just hold down right click to reel it in. As it is doing right there. The fishing mechanic in Trump Craft is a little bit more realistic than with regular Minecraft fishing rods. If we can catch something, we're going to go cook it up and have us a feast. You can double right click to get it back. There's a marlin there. Let's see if we can get something to bite. Fishies! Hey, fishies! Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have done this in a thunderstorm. Oh, oh, here, here he comes. Oh, there he goes. He's got it. He's got it. 
Yeah, he's got it. Uh, come on, real baby, real, 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 real. Yep, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, he's a big one. He's a big boy. Come on, baby. Almost got it. Almost got it. And then he's all tired out, so we just... You could use a net. The, there's a fishing net, but that's okay. We've got some fresh merlin here. So, we are going to head back to the cave and cook this up, and I'll see you in just a second. Okay, and I went off and left the door open like a noob. That's all right. I'm just going to throw this here marlin in here. We're going to cook that up. And let's see. I think I'd like to make another, another orangeade. Get some sugar. Let's see. Can we do it this way? Nope. I don't know why I got the bucket of tropics water at all, but that's okay. It'll come in handy for other stuff. Let's put the sugar. Okay, let's put the orange on. Yo. There we go. Clicking on the wrong thing. And the mug. Let's put the rest of this extraneous stuff away. Oops, I need those. And here we go. Seared marlin. Mm, boy. Let's see. Do I have a chair? I don't have a chair, but that's alright. Uh, it's kind of nasty outside. We'll just stand here in the doorway of this little dirt hut and uh, sip on our orangeade and eat our, eat our marlin. So, thank you for watching today, folks. Now, I have... Um, I'm going to be making a little change in the lineup during the week. I'm not anywhere near done with Resonant Rise, but it seems folks would like to see some other stuff, and that's cool. So, I'm going to be moving Resonant Rise to Saturdays, starting next week. On Fridays, I'm going to keep doing Agrarian Skies until I die, which, <laughs> after last night's run, is probably not going to be too long. I had I starved to death once, and then I got jacked by an Enderman once. So, on Friday, I'm going to keep doing Agrarian Skies until I die. After which, I may do something else hardcore. I don't know. But on Mondays, I will be going to Attack of the B-Team. Because that is a fun pack, and I would really like to play with it a little bit more than I have been. So, it's going to be fun. And then maybe I'll sneak in some more New New World or something else. We don't, I don't know. Maybe Unstable? 1.7 modded? We don't know. But yeah, that's going to be the, the big thing. I'm now going to have a video every day of the week more or less. So, from all of us here at Cooking with Sarah, enjoy your, enjoy your tropical vacation, and bon appetit, and I will see you next time, folks. Bye-bye. <laughs>